Welcome, my name is Lucas and this is Fortis Farms and what we have today is the Hikvision horn speaker, IP horn speaker. So what we're going to talk about is how to set it up and what you can do with the speaker. Um, it's really just been, uh, it's going to be released actually next week. Um, so take a note of the model number, there you go. It's the DS-PA. 0103-B so very cool nice looking speaker and um, has a built-in amplifier um, <clears throat> the best of it is a PoE so it's, it's just connecting to your switch the same switch you have on the pole with your IP camera and you just pre-configure the recorder and record all the audio and stream everything from your NVR if you like. So there's two types of applications so far. I've been testing it for a couple of days now and what you have is uh, connected directly to NVR. Um, <clears throat> once it's connected to the NVR, I mean to the same switch as the NVR on the same local network, you can have four of these um, and you can have a different announcement messages um, going through them. So you can preload your NVR with an MP3 file and you can record that file to your NVR or you can just upload this from your uh, from a PC from your laptop via the software that's going to show you in a second. Um, really really powerful piece of equipment has a built-in microphone for the future uh, reference is going to be um, very very uh, useful uh, because that's going to allow you in the future for a two-way audio. Um, so it's still um some of the parts of the features are still in the development but so far it's brilliant piece of equipment it's really good and um, even for a standalone nvr and the speaker for the preload messages brilliant uh, also you can have it with the hick central the hick central actually are going to allow you to um, announce the message live with uh, two-way audio so that's another feature um it's going to be awesome um, so I'm just going to show you how is it working. It's actually uh, has a built-in um, slot for the SD card. So the maximum SD card you can have it is the 32 gigabytes. Uh, also, it has the like I said, the built-in microphone. It's a PoE standard uh, up to up to 13 watts power consumption when it's when it's actually playing the video and start playing audio. Um, so yeah, it's really really cool piece of equipment that uh, I was I was like like everyone else was uh, waiting for, I say, because we have so many queries regarding those IP speakers. Um, and so far we've been using those uh, analog speakers with the amplifier, which is brilliant, already, but this one, it's the game changer. So uh, let me show you how does it look like and what software do you need and how easy it is to set it up on your NVR. Um, obviously you're gonna need a laptop with you, you're gonna need a software and two different types of the software. One, it's the uh, software to find this device because um, by, and by default it's enabled with DHCP and, and we need to point the server address which is gonna be our NVR to this device. So let me jump into the software with you. I'm gonna put it down for a second. So, the first software we're going to look at is it's a Hikvision IP speaker finder. So, like you see here, um, it's a it's just a tool like um, a SADP tool kind of that will show you the IP address of your device. And the IP address, uh, as I said, it's a DHCP enabled by default. So, if you like to change the IP address yourself, you just need to uh, double click and go to base parameters. And the password for the speaker, by default, it's really simple, one, two, three, four. And so we just need to assign the IP address to your speaker, the, sa the submit and the gateway, and if you like the primary and secondary DNS. Uh, the most important page uh, option here to change would be uh, settings of the server. So we need to create a server within the NVR. The NVR has its uh, no special software, firmware for to work with the speaker at the moment. Um, so what we have here, it's in account details. Uh, we have the username and password and the port that we will be connecting with the recorder and our recorder is on 181681782201. 
Uh, so we're just gonna go and try to get to this uh, recording now. So once it's all entered here, we just click save, enter the password of the speaker, click OK, and that should save all the settings. So you see on the bottom here, uh, it's, sec it's uh, successfully saved the settings and also the speaker just reboot itself uh, and that indicate that something has been changed. So now we're just gonna go to our recorder. I'm just gonna quickly show you the recorder page. So like you see here, I have, it's a 7608 NI i2 series recorder uh, with, all, uh, with eight PoE ports at the back of the recorder. I have only one camera connected, but that's fine. That will be enough to show you what is going on with this um, speaker. So the first page we're gonna to go to its network and there's a new menu on the top of the page. Uh, it's an IP speaker. You just need to enable the IP speaker enter the name so you can name it whatever you like you know where the position of the speaker is uh, or the poll number or so uh, the username and password for the communication between the speaker and 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 um, and your recorder so it's admin and one two three four uh, as password uh, ip address of your speaker and uh, the port number remember there was a port number double eight double seven that's the default port for these speakers and the minimum speaker volume, I would always set to minimum at least 70, so you can actually hear what is going on. Uh, it's really, really loud when it's on 100, so I'm just gonna leave it on 91 for the moment. And, and you can bind this uh, speaker with one of the cameras. So I have one camera here connected. Like you see, it's all online already, so you just click the save, save button, that will save your settings, and that will communicate between your speaker and your NVR. Uh, so once we have that done, um, that's the first the first level of the setup we have here. So it's the speaker, camera, and VR. Uh, where you can use the, such a speaker, obviously, like in any place that you need to announce the message. Uh, like as I said, this kind of setup will allow you to announce the preloaded messages in the case of the line crossing, intrusion detection, uh, motion detection, or uh, alarm input of your recorder or the camera been triggered. Um, so let me let me trigger uh, the alarm input. That would be the, the best way of doing it. So like you see here, I have our alarm input uh, already selected. And when you go to the play, uh, the play file name, I have two files. None, it's just the silence and the alarm. I just pre-configured the alarm. So before I select the alarm, I'd just like to show you how I've done it. And um, so in order to upload an audio to your speaker, to your recorder actually, uh, you need to use the IP speaker tool. So there's another tool that Hikvision released as well. It's the IP speaker tool. So you just need to add your recorder to that uh, batch. Like it's like a batch configuration tool. It's a slightly different layout. Um, so you have our recorder listed and, and there's a few additional icons that will allow you to upload uh, an audio. So the first one is here. Uh, uh, it's an audio upload in there. So you can see I already upload some audio before and you can add the file from your uh, from your PC, uh, any other audio audio MP3 uh, file. And I also add like a song, there are eight, eight megabits uh, song, five minutes long song and then play it away all, all the way, no problem. So it's really, really powerful. Um, but also you can record your message directly from this software. So if I click record, I just tack to the microphone right now and um, I would have to have the microphone enabled more than likely just to have it recorded right now. So I can record my message and I can just stop it and play it away. That is actually saved on your PC as well. So you can use it later on. You can copy it across different uh, speakers if you need to. Uh, so this is our, um, our audio that I, I just recorded. You can play it away or you can delete that and start from scratch or you can just keep adding different audios different announcements uh, like you know different messages you know that people are supposed to hear so once this is uh, this is created here we just click ok and that's it within a few seconds the software is going to send all those all that information to your recorder and so like you see here it's it's sending information here and um, and now we have the upload task so whatever has been already add in like you see here this this um, audio has been added in already this one is completed there now is just uploaded so it's just split on the seconds and it's, it's done 
and, and then you have the device audio so it's like a library of your recorder what do you have already uploaded so you have the none so it's the silence alarm it's the alarm I pre-configured before and this latest uh, record I just recorded with the software so you can delete them you can you can manage all the audible warnings from here as well uh, so once this is done we just close that page we go back to our recorder and I'm just going to refresh the page I was going to change the page and come back here so straight away when I go to file name I have three different files and and the most recent one as well and so I just been recorded and alarm itself so what you have here it's the arming schedule typical alarm input like the intrusion detection line cross and we have the same setup and uh, the link catch method so you can trigger alarm output you can trigger the send email notifications and notify civilian center full screen monitor as usual that's fine but also you have the speaker so you can select on what speaker that particular audio will be played away so you can select speaker number one you can have up to four speakers connected uh, you can select them all and they will play all together and so once this is all selected you just click save that's it and now we can just uh, quickly test it so hopefully it won't be too loud I, I lower down the volume slightly so uh, bear with me for one second I'm gonna trigger the alarm input so one minute So I know if you could hear it nicely and um, this is just the message I pre-recorded before and just to make sure you know, with a nice microphone and um, so there will be not not much noise uh, in the background so you can use uh, like a third party and um, audio uh, recorder like I'm using the audio city here a really powerful tool that you can use uh, to pre-record nicely and you know, reduce the noise background and so on and um, this this still it's, it's awesome regarding the regarding the, the audio so once this is recorded like you see it's triggered straight away once the alarm input it's triggered uh, the same with the intrusion detection line crossing if I go to my intrusion detection line crossing settings uh, I have my line crossing intrusion detection and there it is this is me there and it just enable those features and again arming schedule linkage method again exactly the same page like you have in alarm input settings so you can trigger those and the alarm will be will be will be uh, announced uh, it could be the message it could be a song uh, it could be anything really that you like to play through those speakers so like it could be in a hotel reception area and it could be an airport it could be literally everything where where anywhere you you like to you can imagine this speaker could be it could be installed even in, in your own house imagine have the speaker trigger when the alarm is triggered with the full blast of the you know one of the uh, neighbors uh, nightmare songs or something they were definitely gonna come in and knock your door and just ask you to to, to, to stop playing that music uh, but no that might be even more um, uh, affecting them than than just a simple alarm that goes off every so often so yeah this this is the speaker uh, really really powerful like I said you can also use the Hick Central um, the Hick Central will allow you to uh, announce the message live there's a two-way audio that will that will do it for you uh, like I said this is not released yet it will be next week so if you like to book one of them or a few of them for your site please call your sales manager and they're gonna get you sorted they're gonna get you price and um, so uh, I think that's it for now, but I see there's a potential in the speaker and there will be more come, more to come. So we, we're just going to look and see uh, how is that going to involve and, and developers will be looking after the software. At the moment, it's really, really, you know, ready product, ready to go with this NVR or the Hick Central if you like to do. And so be in touch and I'm going to keep you up to date. And thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoy that and see you next week.